The Earth is always rotating counterclockwise. Even though we can't feel it, the, it is still rotating and affects us in many ways. One of the, these ways is the Coriolis effect. Anything in the air that not, not touching the Earth doesn't move as the Earth moves. Let's imagine that you could jump extremely high. You, you jump straight up from Savannah into the upper atmosphere. You would assume that you would jump straight up and that land exactly where you jumped from. Actually, you would jump from Savannah and, and, and while the Earth is rotating below you, you would land somewhere in the west, possibly L.A. This is one of the examples of the Coriolis effect. The air around the Earth does not move with the Earth, but all on its own. The air, or the wind, rolls off the surface of the Earth as it rotates. The Earth is wider at the equator than at the poles, and the air moves slowest, uh, slower across the widest part of the Earth. The air moves faster at the poles because the Earth is smaller there. The air, as well as water in the oceans, tend to move from the equator northward. In the northern hemisphere, the air moves west to east. The air moves east to west in the southern hemisphere. Warm air rises and gains speed. The Coriolis effect affects something even more if it is going faster. The warm air from the equator moves north and, and west in the northern hemisphere. One, re one result is the jet, jet stream. The jet stream carries warm air and ocean water northwestward. This causes weather changes. For example, countries on the same latitude are not necessarily the same temperature. England and parts of Siberia are on the same line of latitude. England is warmer than Siberia because of the jet stream. The Coriolis effect also encourages hur hurricanes in the northern hemisphere. Scientists have to use this to predict weather, ocean currents, and tides.